You were chosen to go to uh, the GOP delegation. What does that What does that mean exactly? Oh, so I was chosen by the state at the state convention. We had a county convention, Douglas County Convention, and I was elected to go to the state convention. At the state convention, I was then elected to go to the national convention to represent Republicans of Nebraska. Is there a, has there been a, a, an agenda established of what Nebraska GOP wants to bring to the national convention or anything like that yet? I mean, is, are there ideas that you hope to, uh, to bring to the national convention? Well, I think we have, our, I mean, we have our own platform. I know that here in Nebraska, the Second Amendment means, means a lot to us. I think that that's a very, very important issue. Um, that we're going to be deciding in November, depending upon which person we elect as president. Um, I also think the nominations of Supreme Court justices, who's going to be on that court, uh, anywhere from three to five appointees by the next president, that's extremely important. And what do we want to see, and who do we want to see appointed to, to the Supreme Court? Um, those appointees, so our next president, really could fundamentally change our nation depending on who's appointed to the Supreme Court. So, I, I mean, I think those, just kind of in a nutshell, those are the things I think that are most important to Republicans here in Nebraska. It's making sure that we don't lose our country as we've known it, um, as was um, established by the Founding Fathers. And for the first time, I really do feel like we're at risk of losing that. Um, during the primaries, most of the vote went to, uh, went to Donald Trump. There's talk in the national media, well, you know, will the GOP support Trump as a nomination? Any kind of talk like that within the Nebraska GOP? I mean, with so much of the vote going to, towards them in the primary, it seems like Nebraska GOP has kind of made up their mind. We have. It, it, let's face it. As Republicans, I believe in the vote of the people. <laughs> that's, that's what our country was based on. And I appreciate the fact that our party does as well. We don't have hundreds and hundreds of superdelegates like the Democrats do. We really allowed... Republicans, registered Republicans, to choose the nominee. Um, I mean, I have a picture right here of, of Scott Walker. I went and caucus over in Nebraska for Marco Rubio. Uh, I was on Carly Fiorina's leadership team. I thought all of them were excellent candidates. Um, but, you know, here in Nebraska, and by the time we had our primary, Donald Trump had gotten the majority of the votes. I think it's important for our party to get behind that pick. Even if it wasn't our, your first pick or your second pick, at this point in time, the most important thing is to beat Hillary Clinton in November. Right. Anything else we need to know, Council Woman? No, I'm very excited to go. This will be the first national convention I've gotten to go to. I think it'll be very exciting. There's going to be a number of speakers. And I think this is really our time as Republicans to shine and show that our party, despite differences, can come together and that we can get behind one person. And we can take the White House back in November.